Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another episode of the Naughty Farming in Philippines. Well, it's the 15th of June and it's quarter past five. Have a look at this, would you? Every night, rain, 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 rain. Every night. Oh, she hears my voice, Miss Piggy. Oh dear. Chloe hears my voice. My God, my God. Well, it says that it's 25 degrees Celsius, but um, I'm a bit cold. I feel the cold out here. Very, very cold. So today we have a big birthday shout out. Yeah, big birthday shout out to Lee Hill. Lee Hill. Oh my nose again. Hey, every morning when I wake up with the aircon. So Lee Hill, happy birthday to you. 57 years old today. Happy birthday to you, mate. And that's from me and Chick and all the babies on the farm. All the babies. Happy 57th birthday. Well, have a look at this. Well, we're supposed to go into the Panabo block today to do some poisoning and cut, brush cutting. But with all that rain last night, I think it's going to be absolutely waste of time. Waste of time. Maybe we might be able to brush cut down. Maybe we'll brush cut down, but definitely won't be poisoning, I'd say. Well, we've got to go in and have a look. So we booked Will Free Day today. So we're going to go and have a look, see. And I um, also need to get some purchase in the turkey house. I'll get some purchase done today while we're through those here. You can cut some bamboo from down here. And uh, she's got all those thingy me jiggy planty things she got from Angie and Tony's place. She wants to plant for the goats, which is all these ones here. So um, she's going to plant all those. Get Will Friday to plant them anyway. Well, what a shit day, guys. What a shit day. So, Lee Hill, happy birthday to you, mate. Happy 57th birthday. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you get absolutely smashed out of your brain. I know what I did at my 57th. Well, I think it was. People were telling me it. So, um, I'm going inside to have a coffee. Look at this shit weather, would you? Life's more fun in the Philippines. Where the fuck do you live? All right, guys. Back here to later. All right, guys. Well, it's 8 o'clock. And uh, I've just arrived here at the Panabo block. <sighs> Lovely, isn't it? So what we're going to do is just going to brush cut down through here about um, three metres out. And then I can get in and do some more poisoning. Get the inside and the outside cleared up. Uh, look, rubbish everywhere as always. One thing about Filipinos, they don't mind throwing their fucking rubbish on the ground. You know? They just don't mind doing it at all. I thought... I thought it was bad when I was in the Middle East. I thought, fuck me. But um, these guys just love putting their rubbish on the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut all these bananas down again. We're going to come right through there. Then I'm going to come through and spray. Spray it, spray it, spray it. It's where the drain cleaners out by the looks of things. Through here. I don't know about that fucking poison, you know. Like, I sprayed all along here. Look, all this was sprayed. It didn't do fuck all. Didn't do a bloody thing, you know. But um, we'll get all that done in through there, like I said, and then I'll spray in the centre. Get all this fence cleaned down. And then I can get home and have some brekkie. Because I'm best out on my brekkie this morning. Right, let's do it. <sighs> right. Well, we've just given it a try with the brush cutter. Now, we've got a very powerful brush cutter. And um, it's cutting this stuff here, it's just twisting around at the dry stuff that's been poisoned. It's just twisting around all that. But uh, here it's cutting, but um, it's still jamming up and it's buggered up two of my heads already. So I'm not going to pursue it. So what I'm going to do, how fucking long it is, guys. How long it is. Oh, fuck my dog. Seriously. They've done really brickworks here. That's nice. It's got a, a, um, a bit of work going on building the place. So this area is quite good here. This is where they've um, these people here keep this one down for us, which is quite good. So what I might do is just come through here now. I'll just give this a poison through here, and um, we'll have to reevaluate our thinking. Indeed. Ah, oh. jeez, we can't win, can we? Can't win. 
but the blade will cut through this no problem to cut through um, saplings the size of your thumb cut through them easy believe it or not so what I'll do is I'll just come and spray this and um, we'll head off back home that's all we can do guys we came we saw we did not concord all right so we're gonna have to get the blade onto it so um so he's going home coming back and all this shit so what i've done is i've pushed my way all the way around and i've sprayed on the inside where the green is again onto there and that will just make it easy for us and all the back where it's low it's only about an inch high across the back done all back on on this road again through here so we'll come back again on monday or tuesday you know if i had my way i'd just fucking poison throw a match in the bastard you know if i had my way but so there you go guys, that's our morning, so I sent Wilfredo back and uh, I'll meet him at home and um, I'll catch us all later on. Right, so we're home, all unpacked and done. So I had a bit left, so what I've done is, I'm tired of cutting down this side pathway all the time, here with the brush cutter and the whacker and everything else we've got. So what I've done is I set the nozzle on the deck and just run it all the way around all the paths. I used to do that before and it would actually cut it back about two inches all the way around and then I can clean it up. So let's see how that goes. All right, guys, I'm gonna have some brekkie and I say, ta-ta, thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, bye-bye. And remember, don't give up your dream. See you later, guys, bye-bye. <laughs>